Machine Gun Kelly, I heard this week, smashed a champagne flute on his head after his concert at, um, oh, why am I blanking? Garden, Garden Arena? Or what? Oh, man. <sighs> oh, man. What am I? What is it? What is it called? It is. It is the Madison Square Garden. Yes, that one. My brain was blinking. So after that, I, I heard that he smashed a, a champagne flute. Apparently, he about fell from the helicopter as he came in. And I don't think it was a real helicopter. I believe it was a prop helicopter. And uh, I saw that he yelled at some staff member and kind of stopped one of the songs midway. Which he did kind of talk about there, and he's like, hey, you know, humans make mistakes. If I wasn't human and I didn't have emotions and feelings, you, you all wouldn't be here. So it, stuff happens, and it doesn't always go to plan, or then you got to deal with stuff, and sometimes you don't handle stuff correctly. So I guess he kind of lashed out on, I don't know if it was a worker or what exactly was going on with that one. I also, from that same concert saw that a little kid had um gotten on someone's shoulders or something and i think he was like 10 or 11 and uh colson was talking to him um and t told him that it's because of you that like i do this so you're you guys are my inspiration and and all this stuff and talked to this i think 10 or 11 year old boy during the concert which was pretty cool but uh and then I've also seen something. I don't know why this is in the headlines. Um, apparently, Megan Fox asked if Machine Gun Kelly was breastfed as a baby. I don't know why that's a headline. Um, <laughs> I haven't really looked into it. I don't know if I necessarily want to look into it, considering it's just kind of it's kind of weird, but. For what it sounds like, it seemed like um, the Life in Pink movie has done pretty well, um, for the most part. Uh, I liked it. I, I hope some of you guys might have went and checked it out after the podcast, or if you listened to the podcast and got a little in intrigued. But um, now I'm thinking about it. Besides the, him and the news, I did watch this week one of the free nights I had, I decided, you know what, I don't got anything going on tonight, I'm, I'm gonna watch the new, um, new, uh, movie from Colson Baker, the one he, he helped produce, um, Good Morning, with a U, um, it's, uh, I'm not a critic, but it is, uh, different, to say the least, it's, uh, definitely like a goofy stoner movie like it's not it definitely was not made to be a serious movie I didn't totally know what it was gonna be about or how how exactly they were gonna <clears throat> kind of make the plot but it's definitely a um, just like a stoner comedy nothing super crazy some of it I was watching I was just like this is so weird or or random or kind of stupid but I feel like that was just kind of the vibe for the movie itself the plot was ridiculous like just kind of pulled people together of course Megan Fox was in it Pete Davidson was in it so um those two and a couple other people and it, it was interesting it, it was definitely um an interesting movie to watch I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend it unless someone is into those type of movies. Um, I was expecting a little more personally, but hey, it, it, it was interesting. It was fun to watch, at least. Um, kind of reminded me of like a... I don't... I'm trying to think what movie it reminded me of. Uh, and I couldn't come up with a good example even watching it. I was like, this reminds me of certain stuff. It's kind of like had like uh i feel like it low-key had some like jackass vibes to it with how it was filmed a little bit just with like real random bits and pieces of like comedy 
um not necessarily like doing stunts or anything like that just like very random shit and i don't know how it was cut together or what it would best be like translated from with something else but it was uh interesting to say the least (laughs) so if you guys want to check that out go ahead but also in the news this week Travis Baker, the producer that helped make um, the albums with Machine Gun Kelly, was hospitalized. Uh, I don't know if he's in the hospital at the moment, but I think it was Tuesday he was hospitalized, and they didn't really say much at first, but it looks like he was reported uh, reported to be dealing with um, pancreatitis. Um, so what it, it sounded like he was rushed to the hospital due to pancreatitis and, and, uh, I think it was triggered by his, uh, recent colonoscopy. So that's, that's nice. So, um, I, I don't think he's, I think he's all right, but I did see that. Like I saw the headline and I was like, what the hell is like, why the hell is Travis Baker in the hospital all of a sudden? Like just did this on him. He just released all this and. Uh, it was kind of random and just kind of fell into place. Travis Baker is a little bit everywhere right now, considering the Kardashian TV show and now the stuff with Machine Gun Kelly came out as well. Um, he's he's in the mainstream a lot recently, considering he's engaged to uh, is it Courtney Courtney Kardashian? Yeah, so it's it's interesting, but he was uh, hospitalized this this week but he's all good it's all right no worries 